Welcome to Fun with Deep Drilling Engineering. The last time, we showed what the drill string for a vertical hole is composed of. From the bottom, we have the drill bit, and above the drill bit, we have the drill colors. The drill colors help to provide the necessary and needed weight on the bit. After that, we have the heavyweight drill pipes. They help to provide the transition in stiffness of the entire drill string. And then finally, the drill pipes all the way to the surface. This is the design for vertical wells. However, today, most wells are not vertical, but horizontal. Horizontal wells usually start with the vertical section and then ends with an horizontal section within the reservoir. This type of wells are more difficult and require some level of creativity. For example, the typical horizontal well diagram behind me. The curved section looks like that of a curved railroad. In this section, heavyweight drill pipes will not be effective because they are not so flexible, especially considering that the drill string will be rotated like this. Therefore, we make use of flexible drill pipes in this curved section. In the horizontal section, drill collars will also be unsuitable because they'll cause much friction and will be difficult to push forward. Also, the flexible pipes behind the drill collars will buckle, just like we can see in the experiment here. This is why we make use of heavyweight drill pipes in this section. They can provide the weight that we need and still be pushed forward. So what do we do with our drill collars? We place them as deep and as close as possible to the curved section. In this way, they can provide the needed weight for drilling and to provide a smooth transition in stiffness for the entire drill string, we place heavyweight drill pipes before and after the drill collars. Finally, we have drill pipes all the way to the surface. With this configuration, we can drill several kilometers of difficult holes. For such a complex drill string, we apply a special software, which performs calculations to make sure that the drill string can withstand the loads and that we have enough bead pressure also, it helps us, helps us to know what are the side forces. Are the threaded connectors dimensioned properly? Is the entire drilling system correctly dimensioned? And most importantly, can the cuttings be removed from the hole? Depending on the results of the calculation, we might consider changing optimizing our drilling path or even the entire drill string configuration. We teach more details of this in our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering. We look forward to seeing you in Freiburg. Glück auf!